Okay, we're given this polynomial and the divisor, the x plus 5, and says use long division to find the quotient. Well, I'm going to show you how to use long division or synthetic division. So you can decide which way you want to do this. The long division way is x plus 5, x cubed, and you need to be sure and have every single power. So I'm going to just put zeros here and then one negative 125. So what I'm looking at is this first x, how many times would it go into x cubed? And I think that would go x squared times. And so then x squared times x, x cubed, x squared times 5 plus 5x five squared. And remember that you're subtracting this line. So this is all being subtracted. So that, of course, cancels. This becomes negative 5x squared. And then I bring down my plus 0x. Now I look to see my x. How many times will it go into negative 5x squared? I believe that would be negative 5x because negative 5x times x would be my negative 5x squared. And now I multiply negative 5x times 5, which gives me negative 25x. And once again, I am subtracting these, so that's going to cancel. This becomes a positive 25x. Bring down my negative 125. I'm looking at x going into 25x. I believe that would go 25 times. 25 times x is 25x. 25 times 5 is 125. Remember, you're subtracting, so that cancels. This actually becomes negative 125, so it becomes negative 250 for our remainder. Now, I'll write the answer here in a second. So this is the long division way, and now I'm going to do it the synthetic division way which I don't know, you know, which way you like. I tend to like the synthetic division way better because you don't have to deal with all the um, variables. And so remember with the synthetic division, you are changing that sign. So this becomes negative five. And then what I do is up here, I put all the powers so I make sure I don't lose any. And so I can see that the coefficient on my cubed is one. There is no squared, there is no x, and then my value, I mean, if you wanted to, you could do that. And so with synthetic division, we bring down the first value, multiply, negative 5 times 1, negative 5, bring 0 minus negative 5, and so now I'll do negative 5 times negative 5, so that's positive 25. And then I'll do negative 5 times 25, which is negative 125. And I get negative 250. Remember how you write your answer is one power less. So that would be 1x squared minus, we're just going down the powers now, 5x plus 25. Does that look familiar? And then with my remainder of negative 2. 50. And so what you should do is you should check these based off of my answer. So P of X should be my divisor times my quotient and then plus my remainder. So either one of these, however you want to do it, I got X squared minus 5X plus 25 times my x plus 5, and then plus my remainder, which is negative 250. So if I actually multiply these out, so I'm going to do x squared times x, which is x cubed. I'm going to do x squared times the 5, so plus 5x squared. Negative 5x times x, which is going to be negative 5x squared. Negative 5x times 5 minus 25x. And I'm right here. Plus 25x. And I'm here. 
So plus 125, and I still have my minus 250 here. You can definitely see all that cancels, and looky looky, here I am back with what I started with. So it's always good. I know, I know it's kind of a pain to go through and multiply these out, but it is good to check them so you will see that you did them correctly. But once again, you can use synthetic division or long division, just whatever you're more comfortable with.